Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Cosmology of Kyoto. Cosmology of Kyoto is a old adventure game that has you exploring old Kyoto, and it gives you kind of a very authentic experience of how Kyoto was, if it was, you know, if every folklore and myth and every legend was true, essentially, and it was full of demons and traps and you, so many things that can kill you. But the game is also full of a lot of Buddhism, and it's actually a very serious game that takes its source material very serious, and it's actually pretty educational. Now, it is a mostly exploration game with no true goal in sight, so I mostly play the game just kind of exploring and seeing what events I can find. I also crash quite often, so some of the events might be out of sequence, or I'll insert alternate versions of certain events as I go. So, Cosmology of Kyoto. It's pretty much a historical game, and it has a lot of references to actual historical events, or events in mythology. And it actually points it out when you encounter one of these events. And it also has a lot of root in Buddhism. Um, there's a lot of references to the cycle of reincarnation, rebirth, and, uh, and karma and all that stuff in this. Cosmology of Kyoto, I'd say, is one of the few games that really captures an Asian feel, and not just in an Asian motif way. But it legitimately captures accurately uh, the kind of way things were perceived in Japan and just pretty much in Asian motifs as a whole. As far as when it comes to religion and uh, karma and demons and hell and all that stuff. These are the four heavenly beasts. We saw Seiryu, Biako, Susaku. And, uh, Genbu. Now this is a gold game, so there is some little sound skips or things like that. Sako, Biako, Genbu, and Seryu. Imperial Palace, you got a little map of Kyoto. Although this really does not come into play in the actual game as far as I know. I think. I could be wrong. So we start off the game, and we are nude. We get a mirror. Gotta play whack-a-mole with a demon. And we get an amulet. For our troubles. Of oh, playing whack-a-mole. Some clothes. And now we're no longer so nude. And I'll take his money, which I believe is bad karma, but I do in fact need the money. So... The mirror and that kind of op this kind of opening actually has a kind of role to play in the game. Uh, it's not just kind of like a weird random opening. Oh, you're nude and you gotta get the clothes. You'll see later on if I die that every time you die, you actually do come back and you kind of loot your own corpse. And the mirror is kind of telling you like you're a fresh start. Grab your loot. Uh, it's a bit like Dark Souls in a weird way. at the gates of Kyoto. And... A voice won't let us pass. 
こんなところで何をしてよここには鬼が出るとの噂がある早々に立ち去れほうその札をどうなされたそれは我が君より賜った鬼神退治の証拠の札返してくだされ And now you see what the amulet is for. Katajikinai, Washua, Minamoto no Yorimits no Roto, Watanabe no Tsuna to Mos. Kono Fudao Tsukumogami no Oni ni Ubaware, Nangi s t e i t a o j a Nani a r a y o k i o Kanjinuka. Now, like a lot of text adventures, you can enter your own answers in a few points. Although I believe every answer is pretty much boils down to yes or no.、Uh, I don't know if this was a bug inherent in the original game or in just the game and. Oh, hello there. I didn't even get to enter anything. これから都に入られるのじゃな都には鬼が出没いたす心して行かれよさらばじゃ I'm pretty sure he's an actual historical figure now Let me see if I can click this Here we go Rajamon Tamarito Suna Yeah so Whenever you encounter a historical person or event or things like that, you actually do have like an、uh, encyclopedia. Because this game, aside from trying to freak the fuck out of you and kind of be surreal at times, was designed to be educational. So you have that little thing for references, so you can like check everything on the go.、Uh, you pretty much can't enter through the front gate unless you give them that amulet and see that scene. In that case, you, you get this option of following this. Obvious Kitsune. And we'll follow him anyway, despite the fact we could have just gone in through the front gate. So we're in Kyoto. And. I have discovered a dead guy.、Mm, uh oh. Can't go further that way. Now, with the money, you can buy some items. There's also random events like this. Not random, but they're scattered throughout. この辺りは誠に物騒である。命惜しければ早々に立ち去れ。立ち去れと言うておろがわからぬか。いや、I don't want to be here。いや、I don't want to be here。Let's go back 360 degrees and walk away.、Uh, and I'm a little bit lost. Anyway, this is definitely an exploration game. It's a bit like Yumineki and those kind of things.、Uh, it's an exploration game. You go around,、um, there's not too much of a way to actually beat the game. It's a bit like Yumineki in that regard, or some way. So you just kind of explore, you look for events, and eventually, if you get certain events or get them all, then you can theoretically. Beat the game. But aside from that, it's not one of those games where you have an inherent goal or you try to rush through it. You want to explore Kyoto. Hey, look, some kids. Kids were sure ugly back then. You're gonna notice a trend in this game. You're about to see it.
ったのとたわけものがお車に当たったではないかこちらのお方におけがでもあったら大変なことになるぞ何事じゃ想像しああ申し訳ないお車にわらべが<笑>不届きなことわらべなんぞがどうしたというのじゃ虫けらのようなむさいものをはよしまっせ<笑>あわかりましたこのたけものがへいっ<笑>そう、as you can see, ancient Japan is pretty hardcore. They they didn't fuck around. Onore jama date suru ki ka koshaku na. Well, I took the fall for the kid. I'm curious how that would have happened if I had a katana with me. That was a pretty fun place. Nice weather. Eternal torture. Get devoured by giant grubs. Tear the faces off of each other. Fun times. And then eventually you find a Buddha. And things work out. Funny thing is, even if you intervene, you kid still dies. Now that was one version of hell. Here's another one I encountered in one of my previous runs. See? This guy was legit. Tachisare! So we're gonna go to the markets. Now, there's so many ways to die in this game, there's so many things that kill you. And there's like all sorts of kind of like dead ends like that. Although you do reincarnate afterwards, you'll see.
but it's pretty important to get somebody to defend yourself in this game. So we're gonna go to this market, we're gonna find some weapon to maybe... Maybe not completely vulnerable. <laughs> beggars, quite a few beggars in this town. いらっしゃい、いらっしゃい。いらっしゃい、いらっしゃい。もぎたての果物や。いらっしゃい、いらっしゃい。口に甘いで。but inherently, I'm looking... Oh, hello there. Watch when Ali, you walk down these streets. ありがたい話も聞かせてくださるあなたも聞いていきなされては this is a pretty important event in the game, actually. ガキ、畜生、アシュラ、人、天からなる六道輪廻の世界を離れ、大いなる光に溢れた阿弥陀仏の国を思うのです。そこは一面に花が咲き乱れ、あまねく池や川や泉を覆っています。He definitely comes in importance later, though. Some kind of hold up in the street. Can't go down that way. And we'll come back to you later. Don't want to go that way. Too many ways to die. Brain is blocking my waypoint from that right. I mean, my left. Oh, no, 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 no. Here we go. Tana, I'll take your bow and arrow. No, sir. I did not see your weaponry that I am at the moment holding right now. We'll just conveniently go with that. So this is actually based on a natural story here. The Demon of the Susaku Villa. A story from the Kon... the Konjaku Monogatari. The minister of the left is preparing to go to the Susaku Villa as part of a runabout route. He fills a bag with fruit, ties it shut with a string, and asks a servant to take it on ahead. While waiting at the villa, the servant lies down on the bag and takes a nap. When a Rokujin arrives and opens the bag, it is empty. The servant says, I was on all time, so a demon must have taken it. And everyone trembles and fright as the story goes. So, obviously, what's the demon? It was us. Convenient story, of course. But with this weapon, we can handle these thieves. Yay! Can I say? Oh my god. 
Oh, we hound him. Now, the problem is we don't have a way to handle demons. Yes? Gabe is not too good at reading my language. Okay. I think we can already tell this is not going to be a normal game of gambling. I think I just sold my soul to the devil. I think there's a certain point where you agree to play a game of gambling. If you see that guy fly over a building, you're probably fucked. Six five. Washino Banja Onushino Banja Washino Banja Onushino Banja So I gotta uh, turn down to Usain. So, we're in hell, and contrary to proper belief, hell is actually a pretty terrible place. And it kind of... Asian hell is very... Hardcore? Let's just say that. And this game really... It doesn't really pull any punches when it comes to, age, to the depiction of hell. Oh, man. This is the, uh, get chewed alive by a cockatrice part of hell. I believe we can leave now. Every time you reincarnate, you also get a new body. So not only do actual parades obstruct you in this game, but ghostly parades also. Sure. Yeah, こちらでございます。どうぞ。
この中でお待ちですささどうぞ I don't think you, you know, you probably noticed that not many people are trustable in Kyoto. I'm a little closer to Red Riding Hood. Maybe this will work out. Maybe, maybe I'm just being paranoid, and this is just gonna be all right. I saw a nude woman get choked to death by a ghost. Now it's pretty important to actually remember her words. It's gonna come up later. And just like how everyone in Kyoto is a demon. Every house is haunted. This is just, just kind of how it was back then. Want anything done? You gotta exercise it and just deal with things. よし、よし。今なら間に合う。わしが見ておる故、馬乗りになれ。治療が暴れても手を離してはならんぞ。よいか。俺に馬乗りに。That's all right. You want to get rid of the demon, don't you? I mean the ghost. Just straddle your wife. This is the Japanese version of a landed. A little bit less romantic. Yeah, and that's that's the event. You get to see a guy straddle his dead wife. That should be a dragon. Is either new or the dragon? And it's dragon. Rock the dragon, dragon ball Z. Namuamidabutamuamidabutu. Nembutsu
源信堂の阿弥陀如来様がお迎えに。私は玄心と申します。個人とは共に二十五三枚家で江戸を問い極楽往生を願ってまいりました。あなたは個人のお知り合いですか何をおっしゃっておられるのです個人のお知り合いかとお聞きしておるのです。I was trying to say no. Tayo de Ozai Muska Tanin to Yedomo Konobani Yawasetano Nanika no Enis Kokuraku Ojo Negau Kimotio Kumete Anatamo Hojin no Tameni Nembutso Tonai Ratewa Ikagadeska Namuam Namuami Dabus Namuami Dabus Namuami Dabus Namuami Namuami Dabus Namuami Dabus Namuami Dabus Now that adjective is that's kind of a hint for what you need to do in this. You're a demon, aren't you? Actually, you're probably a god of fortune. You, uh, you want some help with that cough? Miyako niwa seki no yamai ga hayatte oro. Sore wa washi ga eami no kami to natte. Miyako ni aku eki ga hayaru tokoro. Seki no yamai ni todomete oru kara ja. Kono koto o tsutae to te na. Mata. So I suppose he's become a bit of a misfortune god. That's it for part one of Cosmology of Kyoto. Cosmology of Kyoto is a bit of a slow game, especially by today's standard. It's like an old adventure game or exploration game. But I think it's a pretty cool game myself. Very much a Buddhist game, like I said. And if you, like me, I grew up basically surrounded by Buddhism. So, and a lot of these stories are even like, uh, there's a lot of these variations of these stories about ghosts and whatnot and everything in um, pretty much every Asian culture. So a lot of this stuff is kind of throwback for me. And the, uh, for me, it's a bit nostalgic anyway. I'll go into about the Buddhism thing later a bit more. There's part of this game, if you notice, like how you kind of die and you get reborn and you come back to your corpse and you collect your stuff that you left in your body. And it's pretty much like Demon Souls or Dark Souls or those games. And then when you, in this context, you can kind of see how, despite those games being Western, kind of stylized in comparison to other games, that they actually did have that kind of Asian cultural influence with the death of birth and death is not the kind of final thing kind of thing going on. I'll, I'll go on that in my uh, next video. Anyway, thank you for watching Cosmology of Kyoto, and stay tuned for part two. This will only be a two-parter video. I did not actually go through and find all events, and I was crashing too much, and it got kind of frustrating. But I tried to find as many as I could, and I think I did find most of them, although I did not beat the game. So the next part will cover uh, quite a bit of yokai, actually, and some events like that I found. Anyway, like I said, thank you for watching.